Okay, leading on from the previous video where we saw um, one tail test, we can also do two tail tests. So, say we have the null hypothesis that a probability is equal to 0.3. We'll talk about particular situations later, but let's just say our probability is 0.3 in the null hypothesis. Our alternative hypothesis would then be that the probability is not 0.3. This is a bit different to what we've seen with the one tail test before because we're not testing whether the probability is more than 0.3 or less than 0.3. We're going to test both of those together. We just want to know if it's different. Okay, so this is looking for a change in p, not necessarily not, not necessarily a, a, a strictly greater than or less than. So for a 5% significance level, we would test whether the probability that x is less than or equal to our first critical value, being less than 0 0.025, being half of 5%, and then above the other critical value as 0 0.025. So you can think of it like this, where you've got your um, two critical values at the top and the bottom end. We're looking for whether it's more than the top one or less than the bottom one. And with a 5% significance level, we'd split that with 2.5% above and 2.5% below. So you've got a total of 5% being outside of our acceptance region, which would be in the middle, shown here in green. So let's see this in practice. Uh, this example is looking at a die that is suspected that it's um, biased and not rolling a fair number of sixes. Um, the die is rolled 30 times and only one six was obtained. We're going to test at the 10% significance level whether the die is biased. Okay, so first of all we state our variable. So x is the number of sixes obtained in 30 rolls. Um, if we are assuming that it's a fair dice, then x would follow binomial distribution with... Um, 30 trials and our probability of success in our null hypothesis would be 1 sixth, i.e. the chance of a 6 is fair. Our alternative hypothesis is that the probability is not 1 sixth, the die is biased. Now we're looking at a 10% significance level, so we're going to reject the null hypothesis if the probability that x is less than our lower critical value is less than 5%, or more than our second critical value um, is less than 5%. Okay, so we had 1, 6. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 would be as follows. So we get 0 0.0295. Now this is less than 0 0.05, so the chances of it happening fall in the unlikely category. And in that case, we say that we are going to reject the null hypothesis. And there is evidence at the 10% level that the die is biased and does not produce a fair number of sixes. Now you'll notice here we only needed to test one end of that, even though we're doing a two-tail test, because we were looking at the... Um, just the fact that there was one six. If it had um, been that they came out with 28 sixes, somewhere near the top end, 28 out of 30, you test it at the top level and see whether um, it went above the, the second critical value. Um, in this case, we need, just needed to do the lower one. You may also be asked to find where the critical values are, and you'd need to test out values on either end to see where your acceptance region would be and where your um, critical region would be as well.